Finally, a brand new 99 in the game, gentlemen. The Super Bowl MVP. I wish it was a bangle. I really do. It hurts me that it's not, but it is what it is, man. Regardless, guys, before we get into it, I'm going to open up this 95 overall Super Bowl present pack and whatever's in it. If you guys get 600 likes on this video, I will give it away. You just have to comment down below Milk Squad, Milk Squad Too Strong, any of that stuff, and be subscribed notifications on. I am giving away the jersey for hitting 95,000 subscribers. So, comment down below jersey you would like. I'm announcing it in two days when I drop a huge video pulling a 99 in every Madden. I hope you guys are excited for that. And if you guys get 2,000 likes on this video, I'll give away a Super Bowl MVP Cooper Cup to one of you guys. I'll also have like goals in tomorrow's video when he's actually out and stuff for him for to give him away to you guys. But as of right now, 2,000 likes, Cooper Cup. Just be subscribed, notifications on. We're on the road to 100K, and I'm trying to get there before the 100th day of the year. If I do, I'm giving away a PlayStation or an Xbox. So be subbed. It's going to be lit. Also, guys, EA posted these after I recorded. We're getting a 97 Micah Parsons, a 97 Jamar Chase, and then also a 97 Justin Tucker for NFL Honors tomorrow. Like and I'll open packs for him. Either way, this Cooper Cup looks super good. 96 speed, 88 jumping, 99 catching, 96 catching traffic, 97 spec catch, 99 short route running, 97 medium route running, and 96 deep route running. Card is a demon. An absolute demon. I mean, it's a 99, so of course it is, but I'm actually kind of surprised they boosted his speed so much. Because if I remember correctly, in his 93 or 94, whatever his last card was, he had like 90 speed. So it's crazy they boosted it as much as they did because they never give Cooper Cup love. His best card in Madden ever was like a 97 in Madden 20. So good on Cooper Cup. He had one of the best wide receiver seasons of all time this year. I'll give it to him. Still didn't break Calvin Johnson's record for yards in a season. So, uh, you know, regular season because, you know, the, the rest of the season doesn't count for Calvin because the Lions were never in the playoffs. You get the point, though. He did great. He did absolutely phenomenal. Cooper Cup is a beast, and I'll be giving one away if you guys can get 2,000 likes on the video. But don't forget, I'm going to be dropping two videos tomorrow, two videos the day after that, probably two videos every single day this week, and I'll be doing gift card giveaways on each of them. So if you guys get... A thousand likes on this video, I'll give away a gift card on tomorrow's video, so on and so on and so on. If you guys get a thousand likes in every single video, I'll give away a gift card as well as cards in each video. It's going to be lit. It's going to be a great week. There's tons of content coming out. But that is our 99 Cooper Cup. You guys let me know down below if you think he deserved MVP. Personally, I thought Aaron Donald deserved MVP or if Odell played the whole game, he was well on his way to getting it. I mean, Cooper Cup played three more quarters than Odell and only had like, what, 60 more yards and one more touchdown? Or not even 60 more yards, 30 more yards and one more touchdown. Odell was lighting it up before getting hurt. And unfortunately, it looks like he has an ACL tear or retore his ACL, which is super sad. But, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully he comes back stronger than ever. As of right now, though, we're gonna open up some packs because it's been a couple days. We're gonna open up some packs, see if anything is good in these. You guys know the vibes. See if we can pull something fire. I'm not going to open up many of these. I just want to open up some packs in this video just because I haven't in a few days. But interesting Super Bowl it was. We just got 88 Leonard Davis. That's not too bad. It was a super interesting Super Bowl though, guys. Extremely interesting. I was rooting for the Bengals because I'm a Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase stand. But I'm not upset that the Rams won. I mean, Aaron Donald's a great player. Jalen Ramsey, regardless of how bad he got torched yesterday by Jamar Chase is also a great player. Matt Stafford's a great player. It's so sad that it happened right after Todd Gurley left, like two years ago. Uh, but it is what it is. He, he carried them to the last Super Bowl they were in, and they lost. And speaking of players that won a ring with the Rams, Eric Weddle, out of nowhere. He, he came off the couch for a couple weeks, and now he's back on the couch, a Super Bowl winner. Most unreal thing I've ever seen. But most importantly, Odell Beckham Jr. got a ring, which makes me happier than anything because he's one of my all-time favorite players. Trey Hendrickson right there. Damian Harris not getting anything good at all, but it is what it is. We're getting lots of training, I suppose. Um, either way, guys, it was a great Super Bowl. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know down below. I'm very interested to hear what you guys have to say about it. Once again, I didn't really have any dog in the fight. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of either team. Like I, I don't have any ties to them other than certain players, so... I just had a good time, you know. I All of the Super Bowls recently, I've had Tom Brady in them, so I've been stressing, pacing back and forth the whole game. But this one, I didn't really have to. 
minus the ending because it was super intense. Great game though. I mean, both teams played fantastically. Super fun game to watch with my friends and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys had a lot of fun watching it as well. You guys let me know who you think is going to be in the Super Bowl next year. Do you think the Bengals can get back? Do you think the Rams can get back? Personally, I'm honestly more happy that the Rams won just because they have so many aging players. The Bengals are young, extremely young. I mean, they have a young QB, young wide receiver, young team overall. Like, they, they are set. They are definitely set. But you never know. You never know what could happen. They could play terribly next year. Any assortment of things could happen. I almost sold the 95 right there. Um, it, it's going to be interesting to see what happens next year. I'm super excited to watch football next year. going to be a great season. Absolutely fantastic. It's going to be so weird without Tom Brady next year, though, now that I think about it. Super freaking weird. We're getting 19,000 training right there. A decent chunk. A decent chunk of training. Either way, I'm interested to see who you guys think is going to be in the Super Bowl next year. I'm going to go... Uh, it's going to be a tough one. It depends on where Russell Wilson, Deshaun Watson, and Aaron Rodgers go. If the reports are true that the Bucks are looking at Russell Wilson and Deshaun Watson, if they get either one of those guys, I could see them back in the Super Bowl for sure. Like, actually. Um, past that, I don't know. Maybe, I'm just going to say Bucks if they get Deshaun Watson and Russell Wilson. And then maybe Broncos if they get Aaron Rodgers. Because he could go there. Bucks and Broncos. Imagine how crazy that would be. Because both Lamar Jackson and Deshaun Watson, no matter off the field anything, they are both elite, elite quarterbacks. So anything could happen. They could both have incredible seasons with the Bucks. Whichever one goes there, if either of them go there, be super interesting. Extremely, extremely interesting to see what would happen. We're getting nice polls, actually. I'm not going to lie. We just got 6,000 training off of that. Not too bad. Not too bad. Either way, guys, we got NFL honors cards tomorrow as well. I don't know if they're going to announce them tonight. I just want to show off the Super Bowl MVP. Um, but we do have honors cards. Maybe the MVP. I'm not exactly sure. I actually need that Cam Newton for my theme team. I have a Pat's like 25 out of 50 theme team just so I can have speed boost on certain guys. Uh, I like it. It's kind of fun. I think it's way too OP that you get so much speed just for having some players that weren't even on the same team together. I mean, for a lot of it. Super Bowl card right there, Trey, who? Trey Hopkins? I don't know who that is. We got an all elite pack. I'm quick selling all of them because I don't need any of these cards, but interesting. Interesting. Even more interesting is Cooper Cup, Super Bowl MVP. You guys let me know what you think of that card down below. He's got 96 speed. I mean, he's going to have 99 powered up with the two stat boosted uh, strategy cards. So, gonna be a monster I mean I don't know if he'll be the best receiver in the game considering that 97 six foot six guy we got a couple days ago but he's definitely gonna be top two or three Odell is still my boy he's my number one wide receiver Josh Gordon is my number two the team is looking pretty sick actually uh, I'll show you guys right now actually I, I would I mean I never do team updates but I'm liking how it's looking right now if you guys are interested in this um, we got Justin Jefferson Josh Gordon and Odell I mean those are my boys we got Gronk Tom Brady, Cam Newton for, for, you know, the Patriot purposes. Uh, regardless, that's the team right there. I'll be adding Jamar Chase. He's fully powered up already. I'll be adding Randy Moss whenever he gets a new card. It's looking good. It's looking real good. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you made this part of the video, comment down below. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. I love you guys. Peace. It means no worries for the rest of your day.